I drove here this morning across the Bay Bridge from Oakland, and the power needed to get me in my, my car here was 15 kilowatts during my 30-minute trip. But to supply that 15 kilowatts, my engine burned 45 kilowatts of fuel. So what happened to the other 30 kilowatts? Well, the answer is that it went right out of the tailpipe of my car, wasted as heat. And two-thirds of the energy that's being produced at power plants is also wasted as heat. And much of the energy being used to melt metals and manufacture almost everything that we use, from plastics to cement, is also wasted as heat. In fact, waste heat is so pervasive that there's twice as much of it as there is primary energy. And in the US, that's 8,500 terawatt hours worth of waste heat, four times the electrical output of all the coal-fired power plants in the United States. So we'd like to convert waste heat into electricity. We'd like to do something useful with waste heat. And we can't convert all of it into electricity because that'd be against the laws of thermodynamics. Uh, but using waste heat recovery, it is possible to convert about 10% of it uh, today. And that's enough to replace 600 coal-fired power plants, 20% of all US electricity production. Worldwide, waste heat could eliminate 10% of all carbon emissions and generate $200 billion a year in electricity revenue. So the reason we haven't been able to convert waste heat to electricity at scale today is because the technology to do so with has been way too expensive. So you can transform uh, waste heat into electricity a couple different ways. One is uh, with a, a thermodynamic cycle like a turbine. These tend to be very large. Um, but a, another way is with a thermoelectric material. These are solid state heat engines that have no moving parts. And uh, uh, these things have very high power density. So if we could uh, uh, zoom in on um, this uh, thermoelectric I have here. Uh, this is an off-the-shelf device um, that uh, uh, I bought. Um, and if we, we can see here that just by placing my hand on it, uh, we generate a small voltage. And um, the issue with these is that they're extremely expensive. So not only is this made of a, of a nasty, unsustainable alloy called bismutelluride, um, but also it's, uh, it's about $20 for one of these units, and they're only going to generate a watt maximum. So for several years at the Lawrence Berkeley National Lab, we've been working on a very inexpensive thermoelectric made of a sustainable, abundant material. And we've discovered one that'll be able to uh, that we'll be able to install it well under a dollar per watt. That's a hundred times cheaper than the existing stuff. So our founding team includes myself from the Material Science Department at Berkeley, Peidong Yang, Professor of Chemistry, Aruma Jumdar, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, and Adam Lorimer from the Haas School of Business. And we spun out Alphabet to commercialize this breakthrough thermoelectric. Um, we, while we are in the process of, of scaling this from the laboratory to manufacturing, on existing semiconductor infrastructure, we're also speaking with some of the largest manufacturers in the United States to recover their waste heat. So within a couple of years, Alphabet will be able to profitably begin profitably turning waste heat into electricity to improve energy efficiency and put one of our most vastly untapped resources, waste heat, to good use. Thank you very much.